Hello sock knitters. Welcome back. How's your week been going? Did everybody manage to cast on okay? As you can see, I've got both of my socks started. One sock on DPNs and the other sock on my small circular needle. I've finished my cuff and I'm ready to now move down the leg of the sock which is the fun part because it's just round and round and round. We are using the super simple cuff down sock pattern by my friend Louise Patterson. There's a link to that pattern on Ravelry in the drop down box below. If you're just joining us for the first time today and you're sort of wondering what's going on, there is a full menu of other knitting videos that can be found before this one on the playlist section of my channel, Off the Grid Needle Arts. So, Today's video is just a little check-in to see how everybody's doing. If you need a little bit of extra help, jump on over to the Facebook group, Learn to Knit with Us. Again, there will be a link to that group in the box below. I hope you'll join us. So far, we've had some really great questions happening over there. So two questions that popped up this week that I thought I would talk about because I thought that um, they were really re relevant to what we're doing. The first question had to do with the cast on numbers on DPNs dividing up the cast on onto the four needles and why the number was unusual. It wasn't an even number of stitches on every needle. Uh, now as you can see there is an even number of stitches on all of my needles. I'm not sure you're going to count them that quickly but there are. I have 17 stitches on all four of my needles. The cast on and directions in the pattern state to divide the numbers up differently. And the reason for that is because it gives an even number of stitches on each needle. So one of them will have more and then the other three will have the same amount, providing an even number instead of an odd number of stitches on each needle. And the reason for that is very simple. The reason is that it's easier to join between two DPNs when moving to a knit stitch rather than a purl stitch. And when you have an uneven number on, or sorry, an odd number of stitches on your needle, you're invariably going to come across a purl stitch as your first stitch when you're knitting in rib in the round. I don't mind connecting a purl stitch to in between my needles, so I just divide my stitches up evenly. But the very first pair that I did when Louise first taught me how to knit socks, I did the divide them up as suggested. So if you're new to DPNs, it's a really, really good piece of advice to follow. So that was the first question that cropped up that I thought was quite good. The second question came up because Gerald and I, Ginger Gerald and I are using the exact same skein well, we're using the same yarn. This was yarn that I had dyed for him and I had a skein done for myself as well. And so because it's hand dyed yarn, they're going to still be different from each other. Okay, so no two skeins are identical when they're hand dyed yarn, but generally they're about the same. Whereas his socks, if you look at a picture of his socks that he's posted on the Facebook group, they look quite different than how my socks are knitting up. My socks are knitting up in stripes or a very slight diagonal, whereas his socks are doing something called pooling the color. And so you'll have one, one, one pool of color and then another pool of color. And so his seem to be more wrapping around the sock in larger sections of our yellow and gray. And someone asked a very good question and wanted to know why that's happening. Because when it comes to yarn, sometimes you really don't know what you're going to get. But why would two skeins of the same color yarn from the same dyer, why would they react so differently for two different knitters? There's a few different reasons for this. And they have to do with number of stitches and gauge. So the first the first one, number of stitches, this is going to be the biggest culprit here between Gerald's sock and my sock. Gerald is not 
a medium-sized woman's foot. Gerald is a man. So Gerald cast on 72 stitches. I cast on 68 stitches. Those extra four stitches made all the difference. That's why his yarn is coming up with a completely different pattern than mine. There's also the fact that I am a very loose knitter. Now I don't know about Gerald. I don't know what needle size he's using because I haven't asked him yet. I think he's on a 2.5. I'm on a 2.25. So I have a slightly smaller needle, slightly fewer stitches, and those two things combined mean that my yarn this time is reacting this way. But you know, I could use the exact same needles, the exact same gauge, the exact same number of stitches with a different skein of hand dyed yarn and it might pull. It completely depends on how it was dyed and that's all there is to it. So I'm going to carry on this week knitting down my leg. I fully intend to be completed down to the heel and ready to go with the heel flap next Tuesday. So if you're keeping up with me or if you're well ahead of me and are waiting, if you feel confident and you want to go ahead and try that heel flap, Louisa's instructions are pretty clear. So go ahead and try it. If you have some questions, post them on the Facebook group. If you feel more comfortable waiting until next week, until we talk about it together, maybe wait for a few people to sort out a few things on Facebook and we'll try and see where the common problem areas are, then that's okay too. This is not a race where we're, there's no winner or loser here. It doesn't matter when you start. It doesn't even matter if you haven't even cast on yet. Cast on next week, cast on a month from now. These videos aren't going anywhere. The group isn't going anywhere. Uh, we're, we all just want to knit socks together. So if you have any questions, please make sure to join the Facebook group. Learn to knit with us. And Ginger Gerald is on there. My friend Louise Patterson is on there. She is a knitting teacher. So she's pretty confident with all of her answers for knitting related questions and problems. And I'm on there as well, pretty regularly a couple times a day. So I hope you'll join us. And that's it for today. Today was just a check-in. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you haven't come across any major problems yet. So that's it for me today. I will see you in a week when we will talk about heels. Happy knitting.